with our first final of the day, which is the R6. That's the mixed 50 meter rifle prone SH1 final. So the athletes now just making their entrance to the final hall. Jamie Stangroom is the announcer of Great Britain. Back again for day two, like myself. Thanks very much for watching yesterday as well. So many of you coming on uh, to YouTube, to Facebook, uh, to join us for our live coverage here of the Munich WSPS 2022 World Cup. It's so great to have you along for the ride. Well, we're expecting another brilliant day of competition. Great day for Ukraine yesterday. So many medals, one of each color as well and I'm sure that Ukraine will be vying for another medal in this final. Irina Shetnik, here she is, just being introduced now. She's on firing point E. We will, will run through the uh, final starting line for you in just a second as well. So wherever you are around the world, you might want to grab yourself a drink depending on the time of day, of course, might I mean the drink is of a different type perhaps we had a lovely evening in munich last night the weather here has been absolutely fine it's been in the mid 20s and obviously those conditions will affect shotgun and the trap finals in a few days time but we're hoping for some decent weather over the next few days here in munich today it'll be hovering around the mid 20s which is just nice and pleasant for this time of year so this is a mixed final. I do like these formats. And there's the legend that is Jonas Jakobsen there. The coach of Kasper Lustel. There's the legendary Natasha Hiltrop from Germany being introduced, who, like some athletes, need no introduction. But of course, it is the formality of these finals to do so anyway. Yeah, that's Juanito Lehu of France is the jury in charge. And, our chief French officer is Ralph Honibert. and once again, back for a second day, Ralph Honibert well, of Germany. Of He's our chief range officer. There he is. There's our announcer, Jamie Stangroom, just sitting to the Jamie left there officers. in the black shirt. So, chief range officer has called for the athletes to take their positions. And there's the lineup then for you. So firing point A, we have Natasha Hiltrop of Germany. We've got Yulia Chernov of Israel on firing point B. Then on C, who was a guest commentator yesterday representing Denmark, Kasper Lustel, who's done particularly well to get into this final. I know his coach, Jonas Jakobsen, said uh, he's certainly capable of good things. So we'll see what happens today. Juan Severo Ronaldo of Spain on firing point D, and then on firing point E, Irina Shetnik, who made a final yesterday representing Ukraine. Can they add to that medal tally? Then on firing point F, we've got Zhu Sung Chul, and on firing point G, it's Saif Alami of the United Arab Emirates, and then finally on firing point H, Veronica Valdicheva. So as our screens are informing us, this is the 50 meter rifle prone mixed final. Day two of the Munich 2022 WSPS World Cup. The finals hall is starting to fill up. The finals have been busy here actually. It's been, it's been nice and there's certainly been lots of noise and lots of singing throughout national anthems. My name is Rory McAllister. I'll be your commentator for this particular final today and for the rest of the day as well. Competition also continues tomorrow for day three, that's Sunday, day four on Monday, and then our final day of competition is Tuesday. That'll be day five. And it's just great to see an event like this with live transmission. So if you're watching on YouTube or perhaps even on Facebook, then hello to you. Just waiting for some more spectators to arrive as the athletes continue to take their positions for the moment.
if you are on YouTube as well, feel free to leave a comment or if there's anything you'd like me to mention for you. Just looking at Natasha Hilltrop at the moment. Very, very experienced. Here's Yulia Chernoit of Israel. Five minutes preparation and sighting time start. So the sighting time has now begun. I'll have five minutes. And then we'll have two series of five shots before we move to the elimination stages and single shots in this 50 meter prone final. I do love a 50 meter. I think it's just something to do with the distance, I think, more than anything. Okay, there's Kasper Luzdal of Denmark, who was sat alongside me yesterday. Did a superb job as our pundit and guest commentator. We very much enjoyed having Casper along for the ride. He'd have been back for this final, but there you are, as you can see on your screens, has made the final himself. Here's Juan Antonio Savidra Ronaldo of Spain. I went to school with an awful lot of Juan Antonios. That's a Catholic education you see for you. Competed at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. You can see such amazingly still positions caught in these prone positions. I certainly think if I was to give shooting a go, I'd, I would prefer to be a, a prone shooter. <laughs> Something to me is more traditional lying down with a rifle than standing up with it. So Jamie Stangroom of Great Britain is making our introductions to the crowd that are gathered here. Meanwhile, we're just looking at Irina Shetnik of Ukraine. Gold medalist at the Lima 2021 World Cup. Should be keen to add another medal to Ukraine's tally. They did ever so well yesterday. Such a great day for the Ukrainian team. And here's Ju Sung Cho of the Republic of Korea. What a wonderful country that is. Been blessed with going to South Korea three times in, in my career working in shooting. I don't think I've ever met a nicer nation. Uh, bronze medalist at the championships in 2018. This is safe. Alan Imi of the United Arab Emirates. Sixth place at the Tokyo Paralympic Games, which of course was last year, considering it should have been 2020. I think, I think we all wish that it had gone ahead as planned. It was very, very odd being out in Tokyo last year with, with no spectators, no, no fans. Here's Ronika Valdovichikova of Slovakia. Gold medalist in this event at the Paralympic Games. Also made a final yesterday. And again, looking to add to the medal tally. So it'll be two series of five shots and then single shots. Now that's saying 10 meter air rifle, but this is actually a 50 meter rifle prone. So apologies for that. Some of the information on your screen is, is, not, is not right. And we'll see if that gets changed. 
this 50 metre rifle throw SH1 event final will begin. You are just joining our live stream, then welcome along. There's 30 seconds left of sighting time before this final now begins. Ralph Hornaber is the Chief Range Officer from Germany. If you are watching on YouTube and you'd like to leave some comments as the transmission progresses, then please do. We're happy to read out your comments or say hello to you. If, of course, you played by the rules, and be nice. <laughs> so the Chief Range unload. Officer has called stop and unload. So this final is imminent. On day two of the WSPS World Cup in Munich 2022. There is the Chief Range Officer, that's Ralph Hornerberg of Germany. Keeping a beady eye on the stopwatch there. Timing is critical. For the first competition series, load. Okay, the load command has been given. Start. And the start command has now been given. So two and a half minutes are on the clock. Ten point one from Spain and ten point six from Hilltrop of Germany. Look at that. And a ten point six from Chernoy of Israel. What an opening couple of shots there. Took a couple of finals yesterday before we got our ten point nine, our first ten point nine of the day. So we'll see how early that one comes in. Oh, Hilltrop followed up with a 9.9 .9 on the back of that 10.6. A 10.8 from Jew of the Republic of Korea. There's only a question of time, really, before a decent... And then we have it, the first 10.9. It has come from Jew. A 10.8 followed by a 10.9. Just sheer class. Here's Casper, Luzdal, Denmark. Just looking at the screen, he's just checking. It's a 9.8. Here's Xu. He's hit a 10.8, 10.9, and a 10.2. So drop below the tens, yeah. now at Spanish athlete. See in the background of your picture there the legendary Jonas Jakobsen who joined us yesterday. 17 gold medals in Paralympic Games from Moscow 1980 to London 2012. Do you know even his final shot at the 2012 Games was a 10.9. What a way to finish your shooting career. So Valdovichva is leading the competition at the moment from Slovakia with a difference of 0 0.3 from Zhu, who has shot so well in this final so far. And then Al Naimi from United Arab Emirates is in third. Look at the differences, though, with a tie with Juan Antonio Ronaldo of Spain, both tied in third position differences are just so 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 few look at that the biggest difference 0 0.4 and that's towards the bottom well, of the scoreboard so that's how it stands after the first series of five shots here we go with the second series let's see what happens start The 10.6 opening shot in the second series, five. 10.4 from Shetnikov, Ukraine.
this is Arena Shetnikov Ukraine with a 10.4 as a second shot. So some good grouping from her so far. Just looking at Zhu now, you can see all the way down the range there to the target, 50 metres away. Great to see these facilities still being used. Considering this facility is nearly 50 years old, it's incredible. So just looking at Veronica Hilltrop of Germany. Just taking some time. Kasper Luzdal of Denmark. Don't know whether or not he's distracted by something or whether or not it's just part of his routine. Stop. You can certainly see all the things going through his mind. So that's the end of the second series. Let's see how it stands then. Valdovicheva of Slovakia is still leading the competition. The difference now is slightly bigger, 2.3 between her and Lustal of Denmark. And then Ju of Korea, Republic of Korea in third. Al Naimi of the United Arab Emirates in fourth. Shetnik in fifth. And we have Hiltrop of Germany in sixth. Chernoy of Israel in seventh, and then Savidra Ronaldo of Spain in eighth. So we're now into single shots then with this final. This is where the elimination phase will start. So we'll have our first elimination after the next single shot. This is shot 11. So yes, a cracking 10.8 shot from Saavedra Ronaldo of Spain, considering his eighth in the table. With that 10.8 has now pushed himself up. So it's Al Naimi of United Arab Emirates, who's in danger of elimination in eighth place at the moment, as it stands. Some very, very high scoring though through that round. Not one shot, well, only one shot actually below a 10. And that was the, the 9.4 from Al Naimi, which is what's, what's resulted in dropping him. Here he is to eighth position. Had a bit of a chat with him before the final started. He seemed in good form. So that's it, we've had 12 shots now in this final, so we do have our first elimination in this final, and it is as it was just a second ago. So Self Aymedi of the United Arab Emirates leaves the competition in eighth place. I certainly know he was looking for higher things from this final, but still to make the final is an achievement uh, in itself. So here's how it stands. There's still no change at the top then. Slovakia still leads in Valdovic with a 2.6 difference between herself and Lustel of Denmark, who's hanging on in there in second position. Natasha Hiltrop, the legendary shooter from Germany in third place, just 0 0.2 behind. Just look at those differences, though, down to seventh position. We've got a tie as well for, for sixth. It's, uh, it's very, very close.
Here is the competition leader at the moment. Here's Lou Stahl, who's currently in second, representing Denmark. Stop. So it's we're now 13 amazing. shots down into this final. There's no change at the top in terms of Valdovkova still leading from Slovakia. So Valdovkova had a difference of 2.3. That's now increased to 2.5. It's Hiltrop of Germany who now moves up to second position. Chernoy of Israel in third, tied with Salvador Ronaldo of Spain and also tied for third is Irina Shetnik of Ukraine. So three athletes tied for third position. Very, very, very close final. It's been close all the way so far. So this will be our next elimination. It's between Luzdal and Jew, who you can see on your screens at the moment. Luzdal was doing so well, was pretty much second in this competition up until a few shots ago. And he's hit a 10.8 and a 10.6 from Zhu, which means it looks like we're going to go to a shoot-off then for sixth position, which is now between Arena Shetnik and Yulia Chernoy. So both Zhu and Luzdal with those very, very incredible shots have not only saved themselves, but they've jumped up the scoreboard as well. So we now have our first shoot-off of this World Cup so far. We didn't have one yesterday. This is the the first final and the first shoot-off of the day. It's firing Stop. point B for Yulia Chernoy and firing point E for Irina Shetnik of Ukraine. And got 30 seconds. Okay, that wasn't Irina Shetnik, that was you of Korea who's safe for the moment, anyway, in fifth position. Stop. Look at that, 10.8 from Irina Shetnik to save herself. It means in seventh position, Yulia Chernoy of Israel now leaves the competition in seventh. That's our first shoot-off of this World Cup. And it may not be the last. So... It's Veronika Valdovicikova who still leads at the moment of Slovakia. The difference now 2.9. That's increased from 2.3 to 2.5. Now 2.9. Here's how the rest of the scoreboard is looking at the moment. We've got Hiltrop of Germany now in second. And Juan Antonio Severo Ronaldo of Spain. Just 0.1 behind. And then 0.3 and 0.1. These differences are so, so narrow. Can Valdovicheva hang on to this lead? Ten point five from Hiltrop. Germany Zhu with a ten point eight. Well, we it's not giving up. There, a and a ten point seven from the Spanish athlete as well. Again, superb at this stage of the final. 10.8 from Zhu, though, is really going to do him some good. He needs it. He was right down, almost in danger of elimination a few shots ago. Valdovicva of Slovakia still leads, though. Uh, the difference has been narrowed ever so slightly. It's down to 2.5. It's still a de decent, hefty gap, though, in a prone final to be 2.5 in front. Start. Oh, Hilltrop shot a 10.9. Look at that. And a 10.8 from Shetnik of Ukraine and a 10.9 from Valdovich of Slovakia. What a final. Incredible. Two 10.9 shots. That's the, the third 10.9s of this final. Brilliant. 
So Irina Shetnik of Ukraine. There won't be another medal for Ukraine. They did ever say well yesterday. I'm sure she was keen to add to their medal, medal tally, but not to be today. So Irina Shetnik uh, leaves this final in sixth place. We're now down to five athletes in this prone 50 metre mixed final. So Valdovic for, of Slovakia still leads this competition, a difference now of 2.6. Hilltrop of Germany, though, still hanging on in there. That 2.9, 2.6 uh, difference, sorry, should I say, is pretty big, though, in a prone final, particularly at this stage. So there she is, the competition leader. Valdovic for Two 10.6 shots, one from Valdovic and the other one from Saavedra Ronaldo of Spain. Hilltrop there with a 10.7 as well, the, the highest shot of those particular five that have just taken place. Lois though is a, a 10.2, that was from Zhu. So now we move to shot 16. This will be our next elimination. But we have a tie for fourth at the moment between Lusdal of Denmark and Zhu of the Republic of Korea. They're both on 174.6. For the next competition shot, load. So there's Zhu. Start. Slaps it closed. That's Zhu on the left and Kasper Lusdal on the right. Both tied at 174.6. Point seven from Loosdale. That's a great shot at this stage. What can you respond with? Oh, okay, fair enough. There you go. You're going to shoot a ten point seven. Here's a ten point nine. It means that yeah, Loosdale needed to match that in order to stay in this final, and it just goes to show, even with a ten point seven, it's not enough to stay in. So Casper Loosdale of Denmark leaves the competition in fifth place. That's incredible. Zhu's had two 10.9s in this final. Incredible. And I think the Korean coach is thinking to himself, we could be taking some medals back to Korea here. So Valovic of Slovakia still leads. The difference now just slightly increased. That's 2.8 from a 2.6 difference a second ago. Hilltrop of Germany, though, she is not going to give up. Still there. And 0 0.6 behind Juan Antonio Saavedra Ronaldo in third position. So look at Zhu, though. Only 0.4 behind. Has had some superb shots. Needs some more as well to stay in this. Here's Valdovic, the competition leader. Oh, a 10.9 from Hilltrop. Look at that. 10.4 from Valdovic. And a 10.4 as well from the Spanish athlete Zhu, a Republic of Korea. 10.5. Look at that. The lowest score, a 10.4. This is world class stuff. So there's a difference now of 2.3 between Valdovic of Slovakia and Hilltrop of Germany. Savido Ronaldo of Spain in third. Zhu, Republic of Korea, is 0.3 behind, so needs to make up some ground here. There's Zhu on the left, and Savido Ronaldo on the right. See Casper Luz down the background just taking some post tips, I think, from his coach. A 10.4 from Savidra Ronaldo. Let's see what Zhu can respond with. I wouldn't put it past him. Oh, a 10, a 10. It's not going to be enough. 
It's not going to be enough. It means he leaves in fourth. That's disappointing. I think, look at that, his head goes down. He had two 10.9s in this final, was really, really shooting well. But it just shows that if you just don't keep the consistency just high enough, I think there you go, you can tell. Zhu Sung Cho of the Republic of Korea leaves the competition in fourth place, just missing out on a medal. So no medal for Korea today. So we're down to the final three then. Valdovicheva of Slovakia still leads. The difference is 2.4. That's that's a hefty difference. That's going to take that's going to take some doing from Hiltrop to even narrow the gap because Valdovicheva is shooting just so well at the moment. Salvadora Reynaldo of Spain in third, 1.3 behind Hiltrop of Germany. Here we go then. The closing stages of this final. Start. Hiltrop with a 10.3, Savita Ronaldo with a 10.4 and a 10.3 from Valdovic. So there's no change then in terms of the difference. The German coaches are thinking this is a tough ask to close the gap on this. For the next competition shot, load. Start. So here's Juan Antonio Savida Reynaldo of Spain. And that's Natasha Hiltrop of Germany. Hiltrop with a 10.3, a 10.4 from the Spaniard. Which means it's a bronze medal with a 10.4 shot. Not a way, not a bad way to to claim a bronze medal. But representing Spain, I think it's Spain's first medal as well of this World Cup so far. Goes to Juan Antonio Savi de la Ronaldo. There he is. 227.5 was his finishing total. So it's now down to Germany versus Slovakia. A difference of 2.8. I can't see Valdovic wavering here but you never know in the final stages of a final the final tour here is packed I've never seen it so busy actually it's certainly the busiest final we've had so far so there we go a difference of 2.8 look at that start this is shot 23 10.8 from Hiltrop. Look at that, 10.6 from Valdovicheva. It means the difference will now be, what, 2.4? But Valdovicheva has pretty much got a miss, really, to try to lose this gold. But I just, I love the intent from Natasha Hiltrop just not to give up. A 10.8 at this stage, just brilliant. So we go, this could be the final shot. Chances are it will be. Start. Two point six se separates these two athletes. Or oh, a nine point one from your top and a nine point nine from Valdovich. But it just shows, doesn't it, the nerves at the end. Doesn't matter though, a nine point nine, it's good enough to win a gold medal at this stage. So the first gold medal of day two here at the Munich 2022 WSPS World Cup goes to Veronika Valdovicheva, led all the way, just an absolute masterclass in terms of prone shooting. And also a new world record as well. Isn't that fantastic? 251.9. I'm not surprised, actually. She was streaking ahead. Had to have a difference of pretty much two and a half on average the whole way through the latter stage of the finals. Unbelievable. There's our silver medalist. It's the first medal for the home nation. Natasha Hiltrop takes a silver for her country, Germany, in this wonderful, wonderful city of Munich. The bronze medalist goes to Spain, Juan Antonio Saavedra Reynaldo.
So that's one final down in day two. We've got more to come. We'll be back later at 12.45 with the 10-metre air pistol mixed team and also at 2.15 local time for the 10-metre air rifle standing. There are your medalists then, the bronze medalist on the right representing Spain. That's Juan Antonio Savidra Ronaldo. Raises his rifle up. Cameras flash, and rightly so. If you're going to win a medal, you deserve a photo at least. So representing Germany, the silver medalist. Another medal for Natasha Hiltrop. It also means Germany are now on the medals table. And the gold medalist. What an absolute masterclass and a new world record as well to boot. Absolutely fantastic. New world record of 251.9. Representing Slovakia, Veronika Valdovicva. So that concludes our coverage of this final. Thank you very, very much for joining us. We'll be back again, as I said, for the next final at 12.45. We'll be back in about half an hour's time or so. That's local German time for the air pistol mixed team. But just before we leave you, that's how it finished. So a gold for Slovakia, a silver for Germany, and a bronze for Spain. Zhu of the Republic of Korea just missing out there. Kasper Luzdal, who was second in the competition, did ever so well, uh, but it ended up fifth. That's it then from me, Rory McAllister. See you later on today. And from the rest of the team, they'll say goodbye. But for me, because I'm British, I'll say cheerio.